Hi guys, this is uh, Blizzard here. Um, I'm a professional level balance designer and with a sample size of two weeks of games with no professional games played and no other very low sample size, I've decided that mech is too strong. And I've done all of this with a blindfold on. Let's get to the fucking point here, peoples. What's up, guys? This is Avalo here, bringing you a new metagame update, I guess you could say, or rather, a an update on the going the going ons of the uh, the StarCraft II balance mod. So finally, Blizzard has. Uh, <clears throat> first off, let's let's get to the let's let let me just uh, summarize what has happened. There's been no balance patches in StarCraft II for almost over a year. None of any meaningful concern. Uh, the game is literal garbage, the meta game at this point, especially if you play Terran. But basically, every game is mass ravagers, mass adepts, or Terran players go 100% bio every single game at the pro level, to the point that every single TVZ has become like 2 rack, stim pack, 16 marine drop, and such things. And also, finally, the final nail in the uh, metaphorical coffin here is that uh, Blizzard buffed the Queen anti-air range, which has completely fucked the entire game. Um, to the point where most games that I play on ladder, um, especially, well, from, from my turn perspective, every game, Zerg is basically invincible the first 15 minutes of the game, and then they get Broodlords, Vipers, and Mass Queens. Does this sound familiar to you guys? This Queen buff leading to a stagnant bullshit metagame? Does this sound familiar? It's almost like it happened exactly the same way in Wings of Liberty, because it did. They buffed the Queen range in Wings of Liberty, and it fucked over the game for over a year. So that's basically where we are currently with the metagame. So, anyways, now let me get to the next point of summarization here. Blizzard finally announced this test map a couple weeks ago, or test mod, aka a lot of design changes slash balance changes that they're going to finally be doing. Basically... They said to the StarCraft 2 community, guys, we're actually going to patch the game for once. Yay. Yes. Okay, yay. Yay, finally. Um, and actually, those a lot of the changes look pretty damn cool. They're going to change the way the game is played. But here's the problem. And, and this is going to be the main discussion topic of this video. Um, and it's a big one. So the, the big thing is they're buffing tanks to actually kill things. Tanks can actually kill things and allow aggressive mech. I've played many games on the test mod. Tanks are actually good. Your opponent cannot just A move into siege tanks anymore. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. But for some reason, David Kim just said in, in the most recent update from Blizzard, mech is too strong. And this is where all the shit goes out the window, and I almost feel like th throwing my PC and my monitor out the window as well. This is where shit hits the fan. Me the statement, mech is too strong. There are so many things wrong with this statement. It just shows the incompetence um, or short-sightedness of some of the balanced designers at Blizzard. And I don't even know, to be honest guys, we don't even know if this is... David Kim himself, or if it's other designers that are saying this. Uh, because, you know, David Kim is sort of the face of Blizzard's, you know, balance team or StarCraft 2 dev team for multiplayer. But we don't know if this is all him or not. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm trying to be fair to him um, to not, you know, bash him too much. But. He is the lead, so there, there's something very, very wrong with this statement. First of all, I've joked around about this in the past. I feel like there's a very anti-Terran bias at Blizzard, um, and this shit has to stop. Because whenever they balance the game, they seem to balance it for Zerg and Protoss. And then anything for Terran, they just can, they nerf over and over again. And this is what's happened to the Terran to the point where you can only play Bio at pro level play and even high masters and grand masters like Bio is just better. But there's some there's some bias uh, ab about mech being viable and there's also some bias towards the other races because and this may have some, you know now that I think about it this may have something to do with uh, them like 
contracting or consulting with, uh, for example, Root Cats, who's a Zerg player, and a couple other players. Like, I even read some comment on Reddit saying that uh, Loco and Winter were saying that Terran was too strong in the test mod, or that Mech was too strong in the test mod. So, is Blizzard listening to these people that have no fucking clue about the actual game? First of all, there's no sample size of games. You can't say Mech is too... The, the statement, Mech is too strong, after like two or three weeks of the balance mod, where like no one... Barely anyone has played the mod, first of all. Second of all, you're getting a very biased view from only Zerg and Protoss. Third of all, th I mean, there's so many things wrong with this statement, so let me just break it. The, the, the interesting thing is... Mech is too strong. This is what happens every time Mech is it becomes viable. People don't know how to play against Mech. How many Mech games have there been at Masters, Grandmasters, and Pro level? Barely any compared to Bio. 99% of the player population is used to playing against Bio, 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 Medivac drop, Medivac drop, into Liberators, Bio, 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 every game. That's what the community... The community has actually not seen... Any other relevant strategy from Terran in like 99% of like games at like pro level and masters level and grandmasters and on the ladder. It's always been bio, bio, bio. So to say that mech is too strong when you literally just made a couple changes that might actually make mech viable, to now say it's too strong with no sample size, no one's playing the test mod right now as much, no pro games. And then on top of that, on top of that, mech is on, to, on 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 top of that mech not being viable for so long, so few players have have little experience against it. But then on top of that, to to just say that mech is too strong, and then in the same post, ignore the fact that you buffed hydras, eight armor ultras are in the game, invincible nidus worm, vipers were buffed many many times uh, up to the le legacy of the void viper blinding cloud received a plus one range casting buff people don't remember that abduct is 75 energy um what 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 else broodlords had a buff previously that they reverted in the test mod but and also of course in this test mod the, the three big things hydra range buff swarm host buff Hydra range buff and a swarm host buff and also what's the what's the third thing here? There's another um, there's another very important anti mech uh, zerg change. That, oh, infestors can cast spells while burrowed. So to say mech is too strong with zero sample size and only looking at mech and not really understanding that people have zero experience how to play against mech and then. Leaving out all of those other things that are literally anti-mech. All of the things I just mentioned, range hydras, burrowed infestors with neural parasite and fungal cast underground, and and then of course, you know, the, the swarm host buff, those things are the most anti-mech things that they actually added. But mech is too strong, yet they added all these anti- So they're now going to nerf mech while leaving all of the zerg bullshit that they added into the fucking game, and all the new Protoss bullshit, like that te that stupid Tempest ability, in the game. Blizzard has their heads up their asses. Ple oh, they're, they're being so short-sighted, and they're not looking... Whoever is doing balance design there is not looking at all of the variables. A especially, once again, sample size, and in general, like, everyone having zero experience against mech. There was just a, uh, a uh, base trade TV test mod uh, tournament today that had some uh, pretty decent players in it, I guess. Although, a lot of them aren't too familiar with mech. And I was watching one... I, I tuned in, and I watched one of the games, and the Zerg player made zero Vipers. Zero Vipers. Zero. Against, uh... He was playing against Beastie Cutie. It was Girl against Beastie Cutie. He made zero Vipers. He was on Hive Tech for, for at least ten minutes, and he built zero Vipers. And he just massed pure ultras, pure ultras, and mutas, and roaches, and, and guess what? He won the game without even using vipers, and festers, uh, hide. He actually won the game without even using all the other shit that they added that makes mech worse. So what, the top four players, there aren't even any Protoss or Terrans in the top four today of that, of that little tournament. 
all were Zerg players. So what is this? So, so all of the things I just mentioned, Blizzard is not. They're they're way overreacting. There is not enough games to say Mech is too strong because trust me, it's not. I'm gonna tell you for a fact. I have played many Mech games on the map, and I've played many games as Zerg and Protoss on the test map, and I have to tell you. Pretty much every game that I played Zerg against Terran on the test map, I won against mech players that were masters slash GM level. I won my Zerg versus mech and my Protoss versus mech. Why? Why is that? Well, you know, Avalo, why? You don't think mech is too strong in the test map? Some The newbies might be asking. That's because I have thousands of hours of experience playing mech, so I understand how to dismantle mech and crush mech. The, the average player that has played StarCraft over the course of the last four to five years has not played as mech. They, they have not played against mech almost at all, let alone played as mech to understand how to beat mech. So the fact that we have uh, four Zergs uh, that crush Terrans and Protosses, and in, in some of the games the Zergs weren't even playing correctly or optimally, maybe not Maybe correctly is too strong a word. The Zergs weren't playing optimally against Mech, and they were still winning. Tells me, for a fact, no, Blizzard. Mech is not too strong. You need to stop pussying out on the changes. Let the changes happen. Let Do not change anything about tanks or whatever else until you put that matchmaker in and, and let there be a, a, a more statistical data and, and more player experience. Let, let this happen. Let there be more than one strategy in your, in your strategy game. RTS is real-time strategy. Not real-time Korean 500 APM Twitch Fest. Real-time strategy. There has to be more than one strategy available to players. It's very clear that Zerg has almost infinite strategies. Ling Bane Ling Muta, Roach Ravager, Ravager... Mass only Ravager, which isn't even a, it's not even a composition, it's just one unit that's overpowered that they're nerfing in the test mod finally. Um, Zerg has, you know, Infestor play, Mass Ling play, Mass Ling Baneling play, they have, you know, Hive Tech, Rushing Hive, they have the Broodlord play, the God Comp, they have the Mass Queen, the Hydra Lurker, uh, Mass Vipers with Roaches and Hydras, Nidus Network play, Drop play. There's a shit ton of Zerg stuff available. Zerg truly, in my opinion, and once again, I play a fuck ton of Zerg. Zerg truly is the most fun race to play right now, out of all three races. Out of Protoss, Zerg, and Terran, Zerg is the most well-developed, or I would say the most well-designed race in terms of options that a Zerg player, you have so many options. It is actually, um, you know, when I off race on stream playing against, playing as Zerg, it is beautiful. It, 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 I mean, it's... It's almost overpowered how many options and different styles of play you can just throw out there and whatever you execute. I feel like as Zerg, I feel like Zerg right now, besi besides the mass, qu Queens need a revert by the, Queens are overpowered. Besides Queen, and, and I say that as someone that plays a lot of Zerg, Queens are overpowered. But in general, I feel like you could play any style of Zerg and if you execute it well, you can win the game with it. And that's, that's a beautiful notion that you could play whatever unit comp, whatever style, and if you execute it well and play better than your opponent, you can win as Zerg. When I play Zerg, I, like that feeling is so great to me because it feels like my skill as a player is translating directly into the game. I have control over the game. Now, let's go to Protoss, and then we'll go to Ta Protoss. I feel like... Um, I feel like Protoss design is absolute garbage. Um, Protoss has an overpowered unit called the Adept that completely replaced the Zealot. There's something wrong when a unit completely replaces another unit in, R in an RTS game. That means the unit is overpowered and poorly designed. It's basically a better version of a Zealot. It's a ranged Zealot with hypermobility. The, and the mobility doesn't even require research like a Blink Stalker. It just comes out of the gate with... Um, with uh, essentially like a teleport available, the uh, the shades. <sighs> I feel like that should have a weakness, but Protoss right now is basically uh, handicapped by the fact that the Adept is so overpowered and the Warp Prism, but mostly the Adept, that um, to talk about anything else, you have to factor in the fact the, the entire race is balanced around an overpowered unit right now in Legacy of the Void, the Adept. 
needs to be fixed. It's it's just an OP unit. Uh, nerfing the vision and the shades is not going to do a goddamn thing. You can still just mask that unit. And I don't understand. This is something that doesn't make sense to me as a player of the game. How is Blizzard okay with you just massing a single unit as Zerg and Protoss? You can sit there and mass Roach Ravager, which is essentially one unit. Or you can sit there and you can just mass uh, Adepts, which is just one unit. But Terran can't do the same thing, and they nerfed the mass cycle and stuff, which is except I mean, which it makes sense. But the other races, they're finally nerfing the mass Roach Ravager thing on the test mod, but they're not. Blizzard is like they're just pussying out on nerfing the adept. Like the adept needs to be fixed. It's been a problem since the game launched. It hasn't been fixed. Same thing with the eight arm ultra. It hasn't been fixed. But anyway, now we go to Terran. So Terran. What do you have as an option? You don't have options. Zero options. You play the same way every game. You open, like, Reactor Marines. Uh, you, you open into Bio, into a 16 Marine drop with Stimpak. Terran has no options. Um, you just play the game one way, and if you don't kill your opponent before, like, the 10-minute mark, then you just lose the game. Because the other races' late games are actually just... Everything about Terran late game has been nerfed. Liberators, Ravens... Previously in Heart of the Swarm, Terran had no late game except Ravens. Ravens were the only late game thing that Terran had. And then Legacy of the Void came around and they nerfed Ravens, but Liberators were really good. But then they nerfed Liberators. So, and they also made Ghosts tough to use with the Snipe being cancelled. So, Terran basically just feels really shitty to play because if you want to play, com there's no strategy with Terran. You just do the same thing every game and you try and do it better than you did last game. And if your opponent is good enough, then you lose. Essentially. That's that's how, honestly, that's why I rage all the time on stream. Because, what you know you know how I just mentioned, guys, that if, I, if I'm playing Zerg, I feel like there's always something I could have done better. I could play any style if I just execute it well enough. I could, I could beat my opponent with my skill. Terran, it feels like it doesn't matter how skilled you are. You have to play bio every game, and your opponent knows that. And if he's good enough to stop your multi-prong drops or, or whatever, then you lose. Like, you just die late game. Or you just or they just block, you know, you, you just lose. You, it doesn't matter how much better you are than your opponent. There's a skill cap on, on bio and your opponent defending it. If he's good enough to defend your multi-prong drops, you die. And that's not good. Um, and that's partly because Terran has no options. So, I mean... That in itself kind of shapes the metagame. Like, the fact that Terran really has no options uh, means that the other two races have a really easy time against uh, Terran. And I'm not talking about top one GSL Kespa bullshit, which is Bl Blizzard should not be balancing for that in the first place. They should be balancing for the entire player base. So, yeah. Back to point A. Mech is, mech is too strong, says Blizzard. Fuck no. That's what this video is about. No. Mech is too strong. Stop pussying out on making StarCraft 2 a great game. Because StarCraft 2 balance right now is garbage. It, it is actually just uh, so annoying to play. So let it play out. Let, the cha let people get more experience against mech, which they do not have right now. Because no one's been playing against it for years. No one's had to play against it for years because it sucked for years. There's players like myself that are really good uh, in terms of like, in terms of playing uh, mech, but you gotta let people actually play against it. And also, once again, to bring up that other point, you can't say mech is too strong, and then add a bunch of new things to the other races like the Infestor Burrow cast, and buffing Swarmhost and buffing Hydras, and then completely ignore those things, and then. And then nerf mech before it even sees the light of day while keeping all those other things buffed for the other two races. It, it truly does feel like someone really incompetent is in charge here or, like I said, maybe Root Cats or, or Winter Gaming or Loco are having a little bit too much influence here and they're just, they have no idea what they're talking about or they don't have experience against mech themselves. Because when I read shit like, you know, at GamesCon, Loco and Winter are saying the mech is too strong. Like, these guys are fucking low-tier Masters players. I don't know shit about the game. Shots fired, but... And, and, and I'm sure they're good guys. Well, Loco at least. But anyways, you get the point. 
you can't say mech is too strong. Ignore all the other stuff, and, and then ignore all the other stuff, all the other, you know, the low sample size, no one's played against it. it after years of, of almost zero mech play, to finally get good mech changes, and then to be... I think this is why... I, I've been reading the forums, Battle.net, Team Liquid, Reddit. There's a lot of people that are pissed off when they see mech is too strong. Everyone's just like, what the fuck? Like, no? <laughs> it's never, like, it's never been strong? Like, actually make it viable? And let, and a lot of people are saying the same thing. A lot of you guys are saying the same thing I am. You're just like, what the fuck? Like, no one's, no one has experience. They don't know how to play against. They, the fact that, you know, we saw a tournament today where a player built zero vipers he was on Hive Tech for 10 minutes and he built zero Vipers against Mech is is proof that people have no fucking clue how to how to optimally play against Mech. So yeah, anyways, uh, Mech is not too strong. I hope uh, Blizzard will not change the tank damage. I hope they'll actually... And if they do nerf the tank damage, then okay, you know, that's, that's fine, but then... Nerf burrowed infestors, can't cast underground, revert the Hydra range, remove the Tempest ability. You can't, you can't only, you, you can't only look at Terran and nerf Terran, David Kim and Blizzard. And that's honest, that's honestly what it looks like you're doing. You say mech is too strong, but then you ignore the fact you added like 10 anti-mech things into the game. And then of course, and then, and then of course, you make the changes, you nerf only Terran, you nerf only mech, and then the game is garbage because mech is unplayable still. Oh, and by the way, just as a plot twist, last, <laughs> last, uh, last thing before I end this video, mech is too strong? No, that's not true. Although I will say one thing that Blizzard is actually fucking up terribly, bio is too weak. In, like, they are actually fucking, like, they are doing a buff to Banelings, they're doing a buff to Banelings that is going to make Bio suck balls. And they're also not nerfing 8 armor Ultras on the test mod, which has made Bio almost unplayable. Like, you know the whole situation of you go Bio, Zerg gets out like 4 Ultras, and then suddenly you're losing the game, even though you're winning the whole game, because he just A moves Ultras into your Bio and you lose? Yeah, they haven't fixed 8 armor Ultras yet. So, plot twist for the end of this video... Uh, mech is mech is too strong. Fuck no. Bio is actually too weak, um, and they need to they need to fix ultras, and they need to um, to not do that baneling buff because that baneling buff is actually completely out of nowhere, unnecessary. <laughs> Terran players want options. We want to be able to go bio or mech or maybe a mix of the two. So yeah, making banelings completely crush bio. It's a pretty bad idea. So just thought I'd add that here in at the end of the video. Like the video, subscribe, spread the word, guys. Um, so, is mech too strong? No. People just have to learn how to play against it. And uh, then people will see, well, like, wow, actually, mech is easily beatable. Like, if people, there, once people get used to playing against mech, there's actually people that will maybe even say, wow, mech is actually still, like, really weak. <laughs> I'm not, that's not me saying that. I'm saying that if you get, like, there are people out there that, are really good at playing against mech. I would say I'm one of them off race. I like I never have any problems playing against mech. But once again, I have thousands of games and play hours fighting or or playing mech, so I know how to beat mech. So, so Blizzard, you know, please bring strategic diversity back to the game. Let these mech buffs go through. Let the match. Let the matchmaker bring out the matchmaker. Let people actually have a lot more games. Uh, to play against each other, and you'll find out that no, mech is not too strong. It never has been. It'll probably be stronger than it is now in the live version of the game, which isn't saying much because it's complete. Because tanks are garbage on the live version of the game, and have been since like 2010 or 11 or whatever. Ever since, basically, the tank, uh, the tank buff on the test mod is essentially a revert of the very of the damage the tank originally did, essentially. So. Anyways, I hope I hope uh, this video uh, has enlightened some people, and maybe uh, people will spread the word that no, mech is not too strong. Uh, there's no data to show the data shows the opposite, um, 
And yeah, anyways, just trying to save esports, guys. Peace out, man. I'll see you on stream tomorrow.